All right, next up. Chronicles, another five bucks. First off the line. <laughs> There's your draft results. Dean Retzky, number one. <clears throat> Can't find a better man. Man, remember when Pearl Jam was good? It's been like 20 years. I was going to say. No. They were so good. I think Pearl Jam's peak was before my time. Yeah, probably. Is that the first off the line already? Jose Ramirez. Oh, mm. look who we got. Oh, Vlad Obsidian first off the line. Orange. E. Siegel. Beauty. Titan Eloy. That was a good pack. Still your favorite band? Yeah, I know people who still like Pearl Jam, who like still listen to whatever they're doing now, and I don't. I uh, don't get it. Not like they suck. It's just it's not the same. Every band's like that, though. That's cool, though. I that wish I could. Also, one that like generationally wasn't in my orbit whatsoever. Yeah. Pete Alonso triple relic. They Amazing. came out like way after my dad cared about that, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's and like my sister is six years older than me, and she loved that. That wasn't, tease. you know, it was before her time. It's like too. '80s music for me. My parents were listening to '80s music, and I was, I missed yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, I kind of know it, but it wasn't. You know, I just know like the hits, you know, the stuff you hear on the radio. Yeah. It's just that like verse ten and verses are so good, and Vitology was kind of good. And after that, I just can't even. I don't get it. How do you still like them? Glaber. Don't they have like a hundred albums by now? Eloy Obsidian. Also, what's bet? What's better, ten or verses? Let's have a vote. I'm abstaining. <laughs> Man. Versus is so good. Yeah, 10 is probably the best, but Versus is so good. Wait, is that another? Wait a minute. This is the same box, right? We're getting double first off the line hits? Yeah, it's the same box. Okay. Double first off the line. Maybe we'll get another one. Vlad. Yeah, 10 is so good. We used, my friends and I used to call it 10 hits. That's why they named it 10, because it's just 10 hits. Man, see, talking about Wheelhouse like that, 10 was what, like 1991 or 92? When was 10? Rius, rookie jersey autograph. No, maybe 93. Shark Sitch. I probably started listening to it in like 1993. It had probably already been out. 91. Yeah, I wasn't listening to it in 91. It was when I got to high school, like 93, 94, and everyone all of a sudden flipped from like country music and rap. Because it was like Dr. Dre and mm -hmm. Snoop Dogg and 91, 92. Was every, everyone was listening to that. And then everybody just was like, oh, Nirvana, Pearl Jam. Like it all changed. Vlad and Tatis. Bogart's to 199. Peralta from Milwaukee. East Eagle. Kyle Tucker to 199. Anyway, when 10, when I discovered 10, it was like, it was awesome. It's perfect time being like 12 or 13, 13 or 14. Oh, yeah. Vitology is really good. It just doesn't have as many good songs, but like the songs that are good on it are really good. Vlad Guerrero, Eloy, Kopech to 99, Baez, Forever Story, Altuve. I don't know, though. Versus? Pretty good. Versus the best. 
for it though. Starling Marte, Acuna Jr. It's weird because uh, when I was playing in bands around here, there was, you know, we played at this practice space. That it's like a, it's just a big giant warehouse that they made all these rooms out of, like air conditioned, soundproof rooms. So you had like 30, 40, I don't know, 50 bands that are all practicing. Mm. And I can remember like we were playing what we thought was like the cool current music at the time, you know, 2001 or whatever it was. First off the line, Kluber. And Cedric Mullins, Obsidian, first off the line, out of 50. Oh, dang. Senzel, one of oh, one. Cool. Kraus, you got the, uh, oh no, that was from um, Optic, huh? the uh, Braves guy, yeah, Riley. Yeah, that was Thanos who got that. That's a nice looking card, though. Sends out one of them. Um, what was I saying? Oh, the point I was making is I remember like the 30 something guys that were playing, you know, 80s music in practice spaces, and like they looked like they were still in the 80s. Like they yeah. wore 80s stuff and 80s hair. And, and I remember like everyone thought, like, those like, losers. <laughs> And then what I'm talking about, Pearl Jam, it's it's even worse than that. Yeah. It's like 30 years, like 20 years ago. If you talk to ago. anybody, I bet that a lot of my peers, if you were like, name a, points. a Pearl Jam song, yeah. they'd be like, no, I can't. You shouldn't yell at you. Yeah, they're, Maybe they're, even somebody in this room, if you ask me to name more than one or two. Pearl Jam is basically like Dokken or uh, one of those bands. It's like your parents talking about how their parents like, like Richie Valens or something. Yeah, I guess. It's not even classic oldies, though. It's like, there's oldies, and then there's just a, every other time is just, oh, that's what you listened to when you were a kid. Yeah. Like, Mookie Betts. Allison changed the top five band ever. That's we listened amazing. to the Eric Clapton Unplugged so many times when I was a kid. <laughs> My dad was a big oh, really? Clapton fan. I like Pearl Jam a lot, but Allison Chains is way higher on my list. Oh, hold on one second. I have to yell at my daughter. Chris Paddock to 99. Purple Obsidian. Is that only the second box? Yep. Yeah. It's like, oh, we didn't have a first off the line in that one, but we've already... We have three in the first two. I never saw the original Alice in Chains lineup because Lane Staley died. But I saw Jerry Cantrell a couple times, and then the Jerry Cantrell, well, the new Alice in Chains with a different singer. It's not the same. It's all right, though. Jerry Cantrell still rules. He's fun to watch. Hey, Tim. Uh, Acuna, dual relic. Yeah. <laughs> Tim makes a strong point. I was just watching that Nirvana Unplugged, like, yesterday. And uh, that might be the best one ever. For me, it's between... Hold on. God. It's between Nirvana and Alice in Chains for the best Unplugged for me. Here at a 99, but they're both really good. Up to Bay. Eloy. Phoenix. Glad Jr. Tim, what's your favorite Pearl Jam album? It's like, Pearl Jam sucks. <laughs> I don't think you could like Nirvana and not like Pearl Jam. That would be, would be weird. Uh, Kopech to 199. Verlander. Acuna Titan. Soundgarden. I don't think Soundgarden's on the same level as a lot of these bands. I think they're one of the most overrated 90s bands ever. Biggio Contenders season tickets for the Blue Jays. Redemption. E. Siegel. And an Otani to 10. Oh, Gold Otani. This is a good five box break already. Arl Duffy. Cool. 
I got a gold Otani in one of the optic or one of the Chronicles things I opened. Oh, right. I don't remember if it was the Contenders Optic or a Titan or something, but. Keep doing DeGrom, Tatis, first off the line, Orange Fe uh, Crusade, I mean. Shark Sitch, and Loizaga is the first off the line, Obsidian Orange. Snell, Kyle Tucker to 2.99. Alonso and Judge. Ten's really taking his time to think over. He's like, yeah, man, Ten's good versus <laughs> Phytology. Definitely between those three, because uh, anything after that is not even on the same level. And really, there's a huge drop-off between Ten and versus of Phytology. Uh, Vlad Timeless Treasures, Brandon Rogers. That's a red to 50 season ticket. Kershaw, Kluber. Deadpool, what up? Write any good books lately? Oh, we got a full case of 19 Bowman up there. Nineteen Bowman is about to go the way of seventeen Bowman, where it's just not even feasible. Not yeah, you guys won't even buy it anymore. It's too high. It's too high. Pete Alonso, what is this? Oh, Glaber, dual threat. Number to ninety-nine. Pete Alonso, Trout, Ministry. I don't know Ministry. <laughs> is it just me because I'm older now or is music from now like today back to like 2005 or 4 or 3 is this it's, is there a different style of the 2000s to 2010 mm -hmm. 10 to now yeah really what is it well like Mookie Betts to 25 I think Final Straw well like rap music has gotten a lot more like mumbly and emotional okay yeah lately that's true I guess um, I was talking about like rock. But music. you mean like it, oh rock music? Yeah. Has there been rock music for the last? 15 yeah, I years? guess not. I thought you meant like pop music or. I know every rap song now is like auto tune, talking, weird stuff, more noises. From my, what I can gather, not listening to it at all. But like from the seventies to the eighties or eighties to nineties, it's like a huge difference. Mm -hmm. I don't, I can't sense what that is from the last two decades. Justice Sheffield to seventy-five. Hey, Boris likes Red Hot Chili Peppers. They're really good. It'd be easy to think of Red Hot Chili Peppers as being kind of a not a real band because of maybe like uh, Blood Sugar Sex Magic's really not that good. It's okay. They actually have some really good songs. Eloy, Tatis. First off the line, Otani. Phoenix. It's a 17. And Christian Stewart, Orange Obsidian. What? Oh, double first off the line parallels. It's a weird few boxes. Yeah, Sean Anderson. Pete Alonso, Titan. Actually, Red Hot Chili Peppers for me is the opposite of every other band I've talked about because I like their, I don't really like their early stuff. I like the, by the way, and um, Californication. Oh. And that Anderson isn't a first off line. It's oh, it is. Twenty-five. Oh, okay. isn't it orange? The outside is orange because he's on the oh, Giants, yeah, and the yeah. inside is purple or whatever. Tatis. De Los Santos to ninety-nine. There's a Juan Soto. Lee Siegel. Ryan O'Hearn. Yeah, they filled the other immaculate already. You guys are hungry for some baseball, huh? <laughs> Backstreet Boys. Vintage Card Doc. Vintage Card Doc says Backstreet Boys. Number one band of all time. It's hard to argue. Sales wise, no, I don't even think they're that high on No. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. JD 
Martinez. Martinez. How does this night compare so far to what is it Wednesday when you had like nothing to sort? Every break tonight is yeah. The well, and most. he's not working tomorrow, so we're gonna have. Oh, he's not. Sunday's gonna be a. It's his birthday tomorrow. Oh, that's right. Oh, we're letting people not work on their birthdays now, man. CSB's become real soft. <laughs> Pete Alonso, Aaron Judge. I think just him. I don't know. Henry Field. If we've carved out any exceptions for my birthday or anything. Yeah. Or when's your birthday again? The, January. Oh, okay. Again? Every year. Well, I'm turning 40 in April, and so I'm definitely not working. Who knows if I'll ever Maybe come back. Again. Yeah. yeah. The California Raisins, they had some hits. <laughs> California Raisins. Kyle Wright. Whenever I hear Red Hot Chili Peppers, I think, do you know the comedian John Daly? I know the golfer John Daly, not the comedian. He released a song when they played the halftime Super Bowl. Like right before it, he had this like promotional website thing that was a fake Red Hot Chili Peppers song that was just oh, like, really? a, I'll, I'll show it to you sometime. Okay. It's funny. But people thought it was the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Like, <laughs> oh, they're debuting a new song for the Super Bowl. And it was ridiculous. Oh, before, awesome. Like. <laughs> Rizzo. Band in Love. What was that one Chili Peppers? Stadium Arcadium? I didn't think that was very good. New kids on the block. Now we're talking vintage card, Doc. New kids were like my eight, nine, ten year old, whatever year that was, a couple years. That's all I listened to. Exclusively new kids. They were the Backstreet Boys of my youth. Well, the name of the song was Abracadelafornia. <laughs> so dumb. Glad. <laughs> Rowdy Telez tonight, and people believed it was real too. Yeah. Christian Stewart, rookie patch autograph. The right stuff. Corey Kluber to two ninety nine. Tell me that's not funny. That is funny. Abrick of California. So dumb. <laughs> Wait, Stadium Arcadium was like a double album, right? I'm waiting for A. Boris. Danny California. Oh yeah. It's not that good though, right? I couldn't get into that one. What's after that? Did they quit after that? I don't. I think, by the way, I was really impressed that they made, by the way, at their age. Uh, Kyle Tucker. Oh, look who we got to 17. Pete Alonso. Dang, that was a pretty good break. Glenn Pete in that one. Kane Revsky. That's nice, the number one and number two picks, because we got the, the Vlad, then I was like, oh, Gain put the Mets number one. But we got the Pete Alonso. All right, let's do the hit recap. Oh, I'll do the 400 points blue box and then Pete Alonzo. Pizza potential. The getaway in 2016. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to write a hundred songs in your career and have them still be good. Shark Sitch or Padres, 400 points. So, we got the Vlad first off the line, Alonzo first off the line, Christian Stewart, Weisinger, Mullins, and Brandon Lau. I know what you're thinking, that's six. Yeah, we had double on one. Otani, Tatis, Kluber, Paddock, Jose Ramirez and Kyle Tucker, all to 17, first off the line, oranges. Yeah, John Frisciani. When was that? And he left and then came back. We had the Senzel one-of-one one, uh, season ticket, Contenders Optic. Christian Stewart, Kyle Wright, De, Santo, De Los Santos, Paddock, Sheffield, Brendan Rogers, Vigio, Redemption for the Blue Jays. Peralta, Rios. Judge, Acuna Relics, Mookie Betts, and Pete Alonso. Those are good names for Relics. Yeah, it was a gold vinyl one of one. Otani, 
Uh, no Tony Gold there. There's some other numbered stuff. There's some good stuff in that mixer for sure. Oh, is there hot rookies? Or mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. All kinds of lads and Tatises and Alonzos. Billions of rookies. There you go, yellow people. 